Hey guys, this is Prasad. Hope you are doing good. Today I will show you how to do a basic uh, rigid body simulation. So this simulation is completely for the beginners. Without wasting our time, let's get started. Uh, first hit tab on keyboard, type geometry. And dive inside. Then type a toy and select it. And I will set a transform node here. And I will move it up in y axis. I will type 3. Now we need to convert into a rigid body. I will select geometry, go to rigid bodies, select rigid bodies. Then hit play. The object falls down, but there is no collision here. For that, I will go to collisions, take a ground plane. If you see here, we have a several objects. And these are the system generated pieces. So I don't need this. I will delete it. And I will delete these nodes also. Now I will break uh, geometry manually. Hit tab on keyboard and type scatter and I connect it to transform and I will reduce my point count to 50 then I will take a warline fracture connect geometry to fracture first input to transform and P is for warline cells to scatter that means second input to scatter now we can see the pieces uh, with the different colors if you want to see the inside pieces there is a node called exploded view and uh, connect it to or nine now we can see the details inside the geometry Here you can adjust uniform scale of uh, exploded view. I will make it to default. If you observe here, there is no pieces inside the geometry because we scattered points on the surface only. For example, I will increase the total count to 1000. Turn on display points and I will increase total count a little more. Now, if you see here, all points are scattered on surface. Uh, if I go to inside geometry, there is no points. See here. So now what I will do is I will take a ISO offset and I will keep it to in between transform and scatter. Now you can see the points inside geometry. Now I'll make total points to 50 again. So if you check the exploded view, now you can find the pieces inside the geometry. Okay, all right. Everything is fine now. So I will go to object view. 
select the geometry then go to rigid bodies select rbd objects now it is converted into rigid body if you hit play uh, it is falling down actually because there is no ground go to collision tab take a ground plane now you can play and see now the geometry is factoring but the problem is the pieces are not uh, attached to each other that means not constraint okay now we need to create a constraint to hold the pieces together for that go to rigid bodies here you can see the glue adjacent select that then if you see here Houdini tells us select RBD object to glue together I will select the RBD object inside the Autodope network and make sure move the cursor on the viewport hit enter now you can see the constraint geo which is in red color now once you play and check after adding uh, glue adjacent now the pieces are uh, uh, connected each other uh, like a constraint so but the problem is um, now we are getting only one or two pieces because of the strength so if you want to play with the glue strength go to autodop network here you can see these three nodes here you can select the glue constraint these are the properties of glue constraint here you can play with the strength i will reduce it to 2000 then i will see what will happen Here uh, everything is fine, but uh, if you see head part, uh, there is no breakage. So I will decrease the strength uh, 2000. Then I will play. I will check now. Still there is no breakage on head. So again I will decrease the strength up uh, to 500. Now I will check okay it's good for me now you can understand uh, everything is based on the strength uh, if you increase the strength up to 10,000 um, the pieces are uh, attached together if you decrease the strength uh, to 500 the pieces are going to break okay uh, okay everything is good now okay go to first frame once check the simulation I will set the viewport ok now uh, if you want to add the debris uh, to the geometry uh, you can go to rigid bodies if you see here there is a option called debris So select the geometry, click on the debris option. Now uh, we are getting debris. Hit the play button and check now. If you see here, uh, the particles are not colliding with the ground. Those are falling down. So. I uh, will go to Autodop network. Uh, if you see here, we have a ground plane in Autodop network. I will copy this network and I will go to object level and I will go to debris sim. See here, we don't have ground plate. That's why uh, the collision is not happening. So I will connect with merge, take a merge node.
go to first frame and i will check now you can see now there is no particle leakage through ground because uh, we are <coughs> pasting the ground and embedded them so now everything is okay if you observe here the debris are coming uh, without colliding so i need debris uh, after hitting the ground okay so for that uh, i will do some keyframes here and i will check on which frame it is colliding with ground okay i think it's 19 frame so uh, before 19 frames i don't need the particles for that i will dive inside to debris sim and here you can select the pop source go to birth palette and here you can and make the keyframes so i will make it one here in 19th frame to create the keyframe hold alt and left mouse button and i will go to before one frame and here i will make zero so uh, i don't have uh, now the particles are not simulating up to 18th frame and the particles are simulating uh, from 19th frame once check now uh, i think it's on yeah it's working now and now i need particles up to uh, 30th frame So again, I will go to pop source, and uh, you can you can set uh, you can set a keyframe here by holding Alt and left mouse button, and go to next frame, make it zero, and again I will click Alt and left mouse button. See, now wherever I need, uh, there only I will get the particles. and i will make some little changes on the particle simulation so i will go to pop force here you can adjust the amplitude if we have more amplitude the particles are going away okay uh, everything is okay for me now i will take one light for the beautification purpose this is not important i will tell you clearly in next session about lighting so just i will make 100 hope you like this video and i will make uh, basic flip and uh, pyro simulations also then i will go to advanced level so until then keep watching if you like this video please share and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching